Tell me what's happening with the Vantage 12 program. And uh, first of all, where does it stand right now? It's certified. When do we get it? So, Jim, our big news, which you know happened just yesterday, was that we, we got the certification of the Vantage after a, quite a long process with the FAA. And the first certified installation in an airplane we own has already been going on, and we've been using that to plan out all the details of the installation. But they're going to become available right away through a handful of dealers. We'll be ramping up production. We will not be really production rate limited as we go forward. So we think that this is our biggest news of certainly the year, and we're really happy to have it happen here at Oshkosh. Well, what does Vantage 12 bring to elder Cirrus cockpits? So the Vantage 12 is aimed at the first generation of Cirrus from about 98, before they had any electronics in them, through up to about 2008, and there's about 4,000 or so of them there. And the Vantage 12 brings a whole host of improvements over the first generation Integra, which is what most of them were equipped with. One of the first... Although that was a, that was a great bit of glass, man. It's a great bit, and people love it, and we're still supporting them, and we have no plans to, to stop supporting them. These screens are larger. These are 12-inch screens versus the 10-inch on the original system. We made the surroundings smaller so they actually fit in the same size instrument panel as the old tenant screens. These are touch screens. Of course, the original generation was before the whole touch generation. And because they're on a brand new hardware platform, they're really, really fast. You have synthetic vision on the PFD, which is something that we hadn't even really started to think of when we did that first generation. It requires a lot of power. And the touch screen lets you do neat things like, you know, re-aim your heading or change your altitude and things like that, but with live touch on the screen. Another one of the biggest, biggest differences of this over the first generation. The first generation, the MFD was a standalone device. The PFD was a standalone device. In this case, the MFD has the capability of being a backup PFD. And it's synchronized all the time. It has its own separate attitude reference system. That's standard. It's not extra cost. And they can both drive the autopilot. So you now have got some redundancy in case you have a PFD failure. You move right over to the MFD. You didn't lose anything. You've got a nice split screen presentation. Some of the other benefits. It's very highly integrated and has a similar or almost identical user interface with the IFDs. A lot of Cirruses have equipped with the IFD navigators. Even more have equipped with the autopilots, tightly integrated with the autopilot, both screens now. And you do end up with some split screen screens that were not available on the first generation. This is a chart and a flight plan. You know, we could put a chart in the nearest up there. And we have, you know, a couple of PFD split screens, a PFD and a map. Another thing is that your engine instruments are going to look very familiar to anybody who's flown that generation Cirrus. So it's really been designed to be easy to install, easy to transition to, and it's relatively low cost for a new set of screens. And one of the reasons of that is that we reuse a lot of equipment that's on the airplane. We reuse the engine data concentrator. We reuse the magnetometer that's out in the wing. We reuse the traffic system. We work with all the traffic systems you ever went out with. So, and we reuse the wiring. That's probably the single biggest thing because it, it, while the wire itself is not that expensive, it drives a huge amount of labor to rewire the airplane. This is our starting point for a whole host of innovations that we have planned. It's relatively inexpensive to put in and it's aimed directly at the Cirrus configuration, which is a PFD and an MFD. So, you know, we've had a lot of interest. We have a lot of customers signed up and we're looking forward to actually starting to ship these things in the next couple of weeks. How much? The screen system is 33000 for the two screens, and there's no options that you need to buy to go with that. There are some that are available. There's a redundant air data computer and magnetometer that you can get, and that's the retail list price, and so you know how much it's going to cost installed is up to the dealers. How soon will you be shipping? We have to do the production certificate, which is not a very big deal for us because we're already producing a lot of things. Done that once or twice, have you? Done that once or twice. We did this too once or twice. But, uh, um, and I know the first guy who's going to put, put in, I know two or three guys that are going to put orders in on Monday. Uh, they'll probably go out within a week or two and we'll start seeing them get installed. There's a world far beyond the city lights, beyond control towers and paved runways. That's where Hartzell flies. Hartzell carbon fiber props, stronger, lighter, faster, delivering unmatched performance, relentless durability, and raw power for those who demand more. So here's to untamed skies, faraway places, and the prop that's always ready for what's next. Hartzell propeller, built on honor.